Hello. So here we gonna see how this FIFO function work. I basically got it from OSCAT uh, basic library and then included my own code here. Here is the function block we can see here and here is the code inside which is written in structured text. One thing to note if there's this in this case in this FIFO can have for example I will show you with a if the view, if we need 11 elements, if we put 11 here, and then we don't need to do any further changes anywhere in this code. Okay, just change the value of, if you need 25, just put 25 here. And if you need 30 elements, put there 30 here. Okay, uh, yeah, so basically what I got from OSCAT library is this part, and, and this part, and then the rest, I have added myself to add the additional functionalities of pop. Uh, if you have worked with Python, you know what pop does. It actually reads an element and removes it from the list. Okay, and here in this case, I'm using it the same name as pop, so it can make uh, maybe more sense. Okay, <clears throat> so here is the function. We have different inputs and outputs. I've defined a structure so we can uh, declare the variables more easily. As you can see here, I have defined the FIFO IO, which has in uh, which is uh, the this function IO is inheriting from FIFO IO struct, and we get all of this here. Let's run the program. Let's see what happens. First, we're gonna start with the no pop action. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to go to PLC program because this is the main program which is calling all the uh, other POUs and of course the function FIFO function. We have the IOs here and we have the FIFO function itself here. We'll minimize here and go to the later. Must enable it, it's already enabled. Uh, now we need to put a value here, maybe 12. And then we will write it to the array. Let's change it again. One more array. And then maybe 14. So there should be four elements now in the FIFO array. Let's see, do we have four? Okay, no, we don't have because maybe I didn't really. Now I have triggered four times. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we have four elements, two, 12, two, 14. Uh, let's quickly add some more values, 19, maybe. Remember to do make this true and false with control F7, not F7, then it will actually force it and then, then you have to unforce it and lots of work. Control F7 does the job. So just select it goes true, control F7, okay? And then control F7 again. Maybe 23. Control F7. Let's see how many elements we have. We have quite a number of elements and uh, the index here, something to notice, pw no pop. So we have written eight values in the array and as you can see here, it's eight. Now we can start reading from the array. So the first element now is zero. It should come a value, which was the first, I guess it was 12, if I remember. No, it's 12, okay. And the second was also 12. Let's see, and the third should be 14. Yeah, it's 14, yeah. Uh, and this is a pop zero, there's no removal elements, it's working with the internal index, well, which increases and decreases when we read one, it increases, uh, it decreases when we write, it increases. As you can see here, that we have uh, read uh, three values from the array, and we have written eight values into the array. And this is how it kind of, uh, controls itself that if this arrow is uh, full and then maybe until here we have values and then we read three values then three slots are empty here and it will only read up to three and then it won't read further and then if the list is full it will give a signal that hey the list is full here and if empty it's empty I'm not showing it because it will take make the video too long you can test it yourself it works let's log out and in this case we will we can test with the second option, one. What does it actually reads the first element from the array and removes it? Okay, and then moves all the elite reader elements of the array to one slot to the left. I will log in with the changes. Let's 
look at this array what happens when we insert an element and we trigger so the first value is 12 it's okay we can read this value in so we get a 12 here and then again and read in another 12 then we read 40 let's go data input it's 14 and then we write or read in and this is you can see write or read in or read out anyway let's use one so no, we don't confuse maybe 17 So we have 12, 14, 17, 21, and then after 21, maybe I can put some 12 again. Put 12, maybe 17 again. Um, I pressed some wrong buttons. Let's go down here. So let's, yeah. and let's see what is the situation of our list is 21 12 then we have 17 maybe yeah now what happens when we read uh, from uh, this array using the pop option which is actually currently the pop is option is see it's one so what it will do is we read 12 and remove it and then shift all the elements one slot to the left let's see if this is doing it or not and as you can see, the D out is 12 and the 112 is removed from the list. The second, again we read, it will be 12 again. And then the 12 is, and then it's 14. And the next should be 14. 14 and 114 is removed, all right. So let's get out from here. And then the last option we can check, which is the FIFO action, uh, pop action two. Login with download. Okay, let's write it here. Yeah, we got a 12 and then write it again. And again. And again. Maybe change the value to 17. And then we'll write it to the array. Two times. Maybe. 19 and maybe 12 again and then uh, oh sorry I have read okay I did a damage here already sorry I shouldn't have okay anyway I have I have read uh, that uh, the first value was 12 and it read 12 and removed all the 12 and now the maybe uh, we can insert some 17s here so you will see what happens right let's insert 17 and then right yeah it is 17 here and then 19 Seven. now what happens when we with the read with pop option 2 it will read that the first element 17 check if there are other elements and then remove all the 17s and then then remove the non zero elements from the array okay so let's uh, so for some reason i had inserted a zero here also but this will be gone uh, you can actually uh, filter your elements that if you don't want non zero elements to be inserted you can filter it while um, more, more like uh, assigning some conditions in the in here in this place that if this is zero just don't uh, don't read in the value okay we, you can extend your programs based on the basic FIFO function block I have put in a filter that we cannot uh, read this element and we can't read that, that element what happens then we read now 
as you can see the first 17 all the 17 should be gone from the list okay control all the 17s are gone see and then the next is 19 and if i read it again all the 19s will be gone and then this fifo is empty this will go through see fifo list empties goes through all right so this is how this works thanks for watching